Hi guys, Walter's World here, and those two little tips up there, that's the Cologne Cathedral, uh, one of the basically coolest churches you're ever going to see in Germany. And we're just here at the Altamark, the old mark, and there's Hoymark down there. And what I thought I'd do is, if you're in Cologne and Bonn, there's some cer certain things you should come see, alright? Granny, you can't see there, but if you walk through the videos online, we have a whole series on Cologne and Bonn, so check it out. But, if you're a tourist, I want to go through the kind of the, the ten places, the ten things you should see in Cologne and Bonn when you're here. Because Cologne, I mean, it got really destroyed during the war, so there's not a lot of the old stuff left. But there are some cool things. Bonn, the formal capital of West Germany. Um, they, they still have all kinds. They still have a lot of stuff to see. They have some really good museums, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to go through the top ten things to see. Now, the first thing you want to see if you're in Cologne or Bonn is the Cologne Cathedral. Okay, it is amazing. It was built, started to be built in like the 13th century, and then they only finished in the 19th century, because like any good government, you have money sometimes, and sometimes you don't. Okay, so they finished it when they could. All right, now it is amazing, you can go all the way, you go to the top, it's 509 steps, and believe me, if you watch the videos, I'm about to die when I do it, okay? Uh, now, but Cologne Cathedral is the top thing to see in, in Bonn and Cologne, so you definitely want to do that. Also, here in Cologne, they have this, uh, it's called the... Romish Germanisches Museum, the Roman German Museum, because Cologne was kind of a capital of southern Germania in in the the Roman times. So they have a lot of Roman arch like Roman artifacts here, which is really cool to check out. So you definitely want to do that, and it's right next door to the cathedral. Okay, very cool to do. Okay, now the next thing you want to do, if you're in Cologne, the best thing is if you can come here during Carnival time, you know Mardi Gras. Cologne is the place. This is the this is the New Orleans of Germany, okay, but here you, they don't show the tits and stuff like that. What they do is you have all kinds of people dressing up, parades, people drunk, dancing around. It's a good time. During the day they have stuff for kids. During the night, not so much for kids, okay, but it's a great time. Number four, um, if you're here in Cologne, basically what you want to do is there's it's called the Wachauf Richard Museum. So if you like art like Rubens and um, I don't know, they have Rembrandt, they have these kind of things. If you want to see some typical art stuff, they have that there. It's really, really cool to check out. Okay. Next, you know, if you're here with some kids, there's some cool stuff around here. There's a in Cologne. There's a chocolate museum. You can see how they take the kids, show them how they make chocolate, stuff like that. Very nice to see. I mean, we we've gone there with my son and my wife, and we all had a really nice time doing that. Okay. Now, other things here. I'm here in the Altamont. I'm here outside the uh, Gothel Kush kind of beer hall. Kush is the beer that's typical of Cologne. All right, it usually comes in a really small glass, like a small beer kind of thing. It is very, I mean, it's very smooth, stuff like that. But if you go inside, a lot of them have a lot of, I would say, flavor. Not the beer, but the beer halls, okay? You go in, and sometimes it's kitschy stuff. Sometimes it feels like a German beer hall, whatever. But it is a really good time. And it's definitely something you want to do when you're here in Cologne, okay? So that's number, that's like a number six and things you should do when you're here in Cologne and Bonn. Now, moving on when you want to get from Cologne to Bonn or other things, you can take a boat trip on the Rhine River. And you can go all the way to Koblenz, you can go farther down where there's all kinds of little castles to see, but a boat trip here is really, really nice. Okay, you can go down there, you just chill out, they have food, they have drinks, they have all kinds of stuff for you to do on it. It is very nice, okay? Now, number, I believe, eight. Now, we're moving to Bonn. You take, you know, take the boat down to Bonn or take the train. It's only about 20, 30 minutes on the train to, to Bonn. The former capital. Now, Bonn has a lot of stuff to see. If we focus just on the old town, I mean, you have the Munster, the main church, Munsterplatz. It's a beautiful the university there. There's all kinds of stuff to see. The town hall, which is actually under construction now, so that's why I'm not doing the video there. All kinds of stuff. It's a nice small town. It's like 300,000 people, but it has a lot more because the old capital is there. Okay. Also, when you're in Bonn, there's some really good things to see. The, the Museum Mile is what they call it. There's all kinds of museums there. If you want art, if you want contemporary art, there's some amazing stuff there. But the coolest museum in Bonn, and actually for me, one of the coolest German history museums I've seen, and like contemporary history museums I've seen in Europe, is the um, Museum of Contemporary History in Bonn. And it basically has German history from the war until now. So east, west, all these things. It is quite an amazing thing. It was, a kind of, it was one of those surprise museums I saw that I really, really liked. Okay, so you definitely want to check that out. And then number 10 of the 10 things you should see when you're coming here in, uh, to Bonn or Cologne. In Bonn, that's where Beethoven is from. You know, dun 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 dun. Okay, Beethoven's house is there. You can go see it. They have a really nice museum, all kinds of stuff to see. 
it's worth checking out. So, the top ten things to see in Cologne and Bonn. One, the Cologne Cathedral is right over there. Number two, the Roman, German, German Roman Church, uh, sorry, museum, which is really cool. You come here to Cologne to have the carnival. Okay, number, that's number three. Number four, the Valhalla Frischatz Museum, if you want to have a little more culture kind of stuff. Then you have the Chocolate Museum here in Cologne, which is really cool. You uh, go to the uh, beer halls here in Cologne and have the Kulsch, really small beers. You can get a meter of beer, which is a bunch of little beers together, okay, which is really nice. Um, next, you have a boat trip on the Rhine, so you can go see some castles in Koblenz uh, or wherever, Kochum, whatever, it's really cool. Then in Bonn, you have the old town of Bonn with the Munster, and then there's the, uh, the Rheinauer, which is right next to the old town, on the riverfront, because in Cologne and Bonn, there's also really, really nice riverfronts on the Rhine parks and stuff like that to take your family with, things like that. Uh, you have the German museum, the museums in the Museum Mile, Museum Mile basically, in Bonn with the German Contemporary History Museum, which is amazing, and a lot more to it, and the Beethoven House in Bonn. So there's the 10 things you want to see. So if you're coming to Bonn or Cologne for one of their many trade fairs, or you're just passing through because it's a really kind of a travel, uh, transit hub here in West Germany, the western part of Germany, check it out. It's worth staying around because Vaughn and Cologne are really two nice towns. So I hope you have a good time. I'm going to go back and enjoy some more Cologne. And you guys have a great trip. Have a Kulsch or whatever you prefer. There's a the little tips to the tower that you can climb up to. So have a great time. Tschüss.